This is an ACS 64 electric locomotive, also known as the Amtrak City Sprinter. It's used exclusively in the northeastern United States. Climb aboard to get started. Enter the cab through the door in front of you. To begin powering the locomotive, first press the battery button for at least 5 seconds. Next, head through the door to the right and down the corridor to the pantograph selector panel. Head back to the cab, and when ready, climb into the engineer's seat. Press Finally, Move the main circuit breaker, or MCB, into the closed position. To show that this locomotive is operational, set the headlights to bright and turn the ditch lights on. Use the reverser to set the direction of travel. Move the lever to the forward position. To get moving, set the automatic brake to the release position. Pull the red handle all the way towards you. Use the horn to notify others around that this locomotive is about to start moving. Do this with two short blasts. Good work so far. Now, apply power by moving the master controller to at least 40%.
maintain a constant speed, set the master controller back to idle. To bring the locomotive to a gentle stop, move the automatic brake into the minimum application position. And that's all there is to it. Pretty simple. Nice work. Take this basic training and apply it to further operations and you'll do great. This is the GP38-2 locomotive, used for switching and light freight operations. Let's get you in the engineer's seat and learn the basics of starting and stopping one. Start by climbing aboard the locomotive and entering the cab through the indicated door. and when you're ready, have a seat in the engineer's chair. Let's get started. Set the headlights to bright to inform other engineers that this locomotive is operational. Set the reverser handle into the forward position. Blast the horn two times to inform other engineers this locomotive is about to start moving. Before we apply any power, you'll need to release the brakes. Move the automatic brake handle into the release position. Now apply some power to the motors by sliding the throttle handle into notch one. speed, set the throttle handle back to idle. Yeah. 
All you need to do now is bring the train to a gradual stop. Place the automatic brake handle into initial reduction to apply a small amount of braking force. just about ready to take control of a GP38-2 on your own. Why not head over to service mode to see what's available? This is the Class 43 High Speed Train in Great Western Railway livery. Great work on being accepted as a driver for GWR. Today you're going to learn how to take control of this iconic train, get it moving and then bring it to a stop. Start by climbing aboard the locomotive. Enter through the cab door in front of you. Take a look around, and when you're ready, have a seat in the driver's chair. First, you need to get the engine up and running. Start by unlocking the reverser using the master key. Set the reverser handle into the neutral position.
there? Now apply some power and get this train moving. Ease the throttle handle into notch one. there on your own now. If you remember everything I've shown you here, you will do just fine. This is the Class 166 in Great Western Railway livery. This unit is used up and down the Great Western Main Line, providing stopping services to thousands of commuters each week. Today, you're going to learn how to take control of this unit, start it up, get it moving, and then bring it to a stop. Start by climbing aboard the unit. Enter through the cab door in front of you. Take a look around, and when you're ready, have a seat in the driver's chair. First, you need to get the engine up and running. Start by unlocking the reverser using the master key. Set the reverser handle into the neutral position. That alarm is the AWS self-test system. You will need to acknowledge this before continuing. Press the AWS reset button. You need 
to charge the brakes before we start the engine to ensure the train does not roll back. Set the throttle brake to full service. When you're ready, hit the engine start button on the desk to get the engine running. Now, set the headlights to day. Put the train in forwards so we're ready to get moving. Using the reverser again, set the handle into forward. By setting the throttle brake to off, they will start to release. Nearly there. Now apply some power and get this unit moving. Ease the throttle brake handle into notch one. DBS Class 66 diesel locomotive, nicknamed Shed because of how it looks. This locomotive used to haul aggregates up and down the Great Western Main Line. Today, you're going to learn how to take control of this powerful freight locomotive. Start it up, get it moving, and then bring it to a stop. Start by climbing aboard the locomotive. Enter through the cab door in front of you. driver's chair. First, you need to get the 
engine up and running. Start by turning the master key on. Now get the engine started. Set the engine run switch, generator field switch, and the control and fuel pump switch all to on. charging, so a full application is needed. This time hold the auto brake handle in the apply position until the brake pipe control needle is at three.
Stopping at stations correctly and on time is a vital part of keeping the railway running smoothly. Let's take a look at bringing a Class 166 service to a stop at Twyford. To start, bring the train up to speed, set the reverser to forward and apply a small amount of power using the combined throttle brake to get us off the line.
driver's judgment plays a big part towards a nice clean stop at stations, but you'll learn that after some practice of your own. Welcome to this Talent II Articulated Electric Multiple Unit, built by Bombardier Transportation. This is a three-car variant, delivered to the S-Bahn Mitteldeutschland network in 2013. During this brief introduction, we will cover how to start up the unit for operation, get moving, and then how to bring the unit to a stop. To start with, climb aboard via the cab door, and sit in the driver's seat. During normal operation, this unit draws electricity from the overhead catenary via a pantograph. However, since the pantograph is currently in the down position, we have to power the initial systems by priming the auxiliary battery. With power available, use the master key to unlock the control desk and turn on the multifunction displays.
power brake handle back to the neutral position. Before traveling too far, let's bring the train to a halt. And to do this, move the power brake handle as required. Now that the unit has stopped, press the parking brake on button. Well done. That concludes this brief introduction to the Talon II articulated electric multiple unit. A manual is also included, which covers everything in this tutorial and more. This is a Class 47 diesel electric locomotive in British Rail green livery. This tutorial will go through the start and stop procedure. Climb aboard to get going. Enter the cab through the door indicated. When you're ready, sit in the driver's seat. To get the loco started, set the battery isolation switch to the closed position. To activate the control desk, set the master key into the on position. Set the reverser into the engine only position. The locomotive is now ready to be started. Push the engine start button on the control desk. To release the air pressure holding the wheels, set the driver's brake to the running position.
the locomotive running, to get going, set the reverser to the forward position. To make others aware that this loco is operational, switch the headlights on. Turn the parking brake handle to release it. Finally, to get going, set the throttle to at least 20%. This is a class 47 diesel electric locomotive in British Rail green livery. This tutorial will go through the start and stop procedure. Climb aboard to get going. Enter the cab through the door indicated. When you're ready, sit in the driver's seat. To get the loco started, set the battery isolation switch to the closed position. To activate the control desk, set the master key into the on position. Set the reverser into the engine only position. The locomotive is now ready to be started. Push the engine start button on the control desk. To release the air pressure holding the wheels, set the driver's brake to the running position. With the locomotive running, to get going, set the reverser to the forward position. To make others aware that this loco is operational, switch the headlights on. Turn the parking brake handle to release it. Finally, to get going, set the throttle to at least 20%.
is on the move. To maintain a specific... To bring the locomotive to a gentle stop, set the driver's brake to the initial application position. Take this basic training and apply it to further operations and you'll do great. This is a Class 09 diesel-electric shunter used mainly for freight operations, but known to help with passenger procedures too. Let's take a look at the engine's starting and stopping procedures. Climb aboard to get started. Enter the cab through the door indicated. Before anything else, set up the marker lights. Turn the main switch on the panel up there to on. Now the main power switch is on, walk around the exterior of the locomotive and turn on all four marker lights. Great, climb back aboard the locomotive and sit down in the driver's seat. To start the locomotive, hold the master key in the start position for at least five seconds. With the locomotive running, set the master key to the on position. The reversal lever determines the direction of travel. Set this into the forward position.
Move the parking brake handle into the release position. Finally, to get going, set the throttle into position 1 for at least 5 seconds and then set it to position 2. operations and you'll do great.